Hi everyone. In this video, the same static latches and registers are continued with uh, MUX based latches where the latches are constructed using multiplexer. Okay, multiplexer is nothing but 2 power n input and 1 output device where it is also used to construct a latch operation. Okay, that may be either negative latch or it may be a positive latch which is very very important topic here mux based mux based latch it is ch mux based latch so multiplexer which is used to create a latch operation that may be either negative operation or negative latch operation or positive latch operation negative latch is nothing but transparent when clock is equal to 0 that means output is equal to input what do you mean by latch? If you know the basic operation of the latch, then you can understand this mux based latch. Latch is nothing but it is a D flip flop. It is a D flip flop. This is the input whatever we are giving and this is the output Q. Q is equal to D when something like a clock or enable is equal to 1 or 0. And Q is equal to not having any change in the output nothing but q is equal to same we can say previous state when clock is equal to zero this is the general scenario how the latch is going to work this is the place we are where we are applying the clock signal okay if you say something like enable because it is a latch if you say it is an enable pin when enable is equal to one then our input will be transferred to the output when enable is equal to zero output no change so it carries the same previous state this is what the operation of standard latch but now the same can be constructed using multiplexer see what is written here NAND uh, sorry negative latch which is operated when transparent when clock is equal to 0 transparent means output is equal to input output is equal to input when clock is equal to 0 see here when q q is equal to d when when it occurs when clock is equal to 0 see is a multiplexer multiplexer is having 2 by 1 size 2 by 1 size so two inputs 0th input is connected with the d data input and one input is connected with the feedback one input is connected with a feedback that means the same state previous state as i said here okay so when clock is equal to 0 it selects the d that means q is equal to d when clock is equal to 0 q is equal to d clock is equal to 1 q is equal to q nothing but previous state okay what about the second point c second option is nothing but a pause to latch transparent when clock is equal to 1 clock is equal to 1 that depends upon either pause to latch or negative latch is known depending on the input signal when it is going to be transparent okay when clock is equal to 0 as it is working when 0 condition we call it as negative latch and clock is equal to 1 it is acting as transparent means that's why it is positive latch see when clock is equal to 1 what happens clock is equal to 1 when clock is equal to 1 it operates on this pin so output q is equal to d and clock is equal to 0 0 means where is the output here this one which is connected with the same past output so q is equal to q so when it is operated when clock is equal to 1 input is equal to output again when here clock is equal to 0 output is equal to input so this is the case where it is a transparent device transparent device that's why it is acting like a latch okay so latch is nothing but output equal to input with a control input this is the case we can observe the same with the multiplexer see we can write also write the expression like q is equal to clock into q plus clock bar into d so when it is 1 q is equal to sim uh, clock is equal to simply 0 when clock is equal to 0 0 into q 0 plus 0 bar into d that means 0 bar 1 into d so output is equal to q this is the way how to write the equation for the same expression see it is the simplified equation in this way 
and similarly for this situation the equation is like this q uh, clock bar into q plus clock into d when clock is equal to 1 is simply 0 and the clock is equal to 1 it is d okay this is the way how to write the e expressions and as well as the um, elaborated situations of this multiplexer based latches now the same can be constructed using the cmos transmission gates okay see here in place of this particular device see what i am marking here is nothing but a multiplexer action till we have seen in the previous slide Mm, we can take this one also. See, whatever I have marked in this dashed line, all this we can call it as a multiplexer, a 2 by 1 multiplexer. Once go back to the previous slide and check, except this box, remaining outer parts modules are same. So internally for the development of this multiplexer operation, what are the different combinational uh, CMOS uh, CMO circuits we are using, an inverter, CMOS inverter we are using, here also CMOS inverter and additionally we are using two transmission gates, this is one transmission gate and this is the second transmission gate with the common inputs like a clock and clock bar. We know the operation of transmission gate which is a combination of a PMOS and NMOS back to back connected together here like this. This is a PMOS transistor, we can say this is NMOS transistor. So the multiplexer basal latches can be constructed using the CMOS. Ultimately, we are going to design all the circuits with respect to the CMOS devices. And we are saying that it is a dynamic logic, okay, static we have already studied. Now we are studying dynamic CMOS logic circuitry where clock should be one of the inputs to make it as a dynamic CMOS circuit. So transmission gate simply acts like input is equal to output when clock is equal to 0. And similarly, this transmission gate acts like transmission gate simply input is equal to output when clock is equal to 1. The same action here is implemented with respect to transmission gates. Now see here, the same multiplexer base latch can also be implemented with NMOS transistors, only NMOS transistors, like non overlapping clocks. See, here we have used a transmission gate where it consists of both PMOS and as well as NMOS transistors. The same can also be implemented with pure NMOS transistors using this type of configuration where the input is applied first. Input is applied to this NMOS transistor with a control input clock followed by a CMOS inverter again CMOS inverter where we are taking the complement input from the center of these two and two form from the at the output and we are taking one more NMOS transistor with a clock bar input to take the control over the clock bar signal. Okay, we know clock and clock bar how they are and coming to master slave which is an edge triggered register or edge triggered multiplexer blazed circuit. So master slave edge triggered register. Master slave edge triggered register. So what do you mean by master slave edge trigger register? Here we are using two devices like uh, module 1 followed by module 2 or we can say it is a first latch. Simply this kind of type of configuration is nothing but a latch. Latch 1 and it is another latch 2 whereas the output of latch 1 is connected to the input of latch 2. So latch 2 is completely depending on latch 1. Latch 2 is completely depending on latch 1. So, latch 1 is acting like a master where it controls the latch 2, nothing but a slave. See, take a situation when clock is changing from 1 to 0 like this, 1, 0 like this. And D is having a data something which is varying like this and somewhere it is constant again varying. Now, 
when qm is considered during clock 0 the input will be transferred to the output that means the latch one is transparent when clock is equal to 0 because data is connected to the 0th position okay so when clock is equal to 0 see this situation when clock is equal to 0 qm is equal to d so whatever the signal is there here also it will occur and but during one on condition there is no output here also during on condition there is no output during off condition 0 there is output but coming to the slave output which is nothing but a original output q when clock is equal to 1 the output will be the input q, q, q is equal to qm when clock is equal to 1 see the situation where clock is equal to 1 qn is there is no data so output is also no data and again 0 so 0 for 0 slave will not respond again for 1 clock 1 then qm is equal to qn qm is equal to q again when k is, uh, is equal to 0 clock is equal to 0 and here there is a change in the qm but clock equal to 0 it will not respond okay so this is the way how to uh, understand the operation of two latches when they are connected in cascade we can also say that they are like a master slave configuration master slave configuration so for this master slave we have taken some edge triggered flip flop edge triggered basis okay i told you already edge triggered and level triggered now the same can be implemented with the CMOS logic circuitry using this circuit. See this is the CMOS logic circuitry where this is the first latch as we have discussed in the previous case. This is the la latch 2. Output of latch 2 is the original output and latch 1 output is connected to the input of latch 2. So it could be the slave and it could be the master. Okay. See, ultimately, we are going to design all these multiplexer based latches with respect to the CMOS transistors. Thank you.